Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at some of the click mechanics that we make while we're using SolidWorks. Um, also, some of the buttons we can use to help us uh, move along through our design process. So uh, we're going to be going over um, clicking, uh, what the left click does, what the right click does, escape, when to use it and when not to, undo and redo, and again, when to use it and when not to. First off, I'd like to start off by showing you a couple efficient ways to create a sketch. Typically, we come to our planes or faces of our model. Simply click the face plane or surface to create the sketch and hit the sketch icon. This is very efficient as we don't have to mouse up into our command manager to select the tool. Although this is just as good too. Just saves you a little bit of time. The next thing is when drawing a line, there's a couple techniques we can use to easily transition from line to arc. Um, a lot of people make this mistake thinking that it, you know, they did something wrong, but all you gotta do is mouse back to the endpoint and then flick your wrist in a certain direction to generate uh, your curve orientation. So if I mouse up and then towards the top of the screen, I get a curve that goes to the top and then the bottom and so on and so forth. So there's eight solutions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After I generate the arc I want, I click to complete it and then I'm back in my line tool. Now, when I close the sketch in SolidWorks, you'll notice that my line tool finishes the line but does not continue to draw another one. Now frequently I see users clicking and dragging, which is another technique to creating a line. But every time you click and drag, it's one line segment at a time. Now if you click and release, it allows you to make multiple line segments. Clicking and dragging is a really good technique when you need to draw a line from like one entity to another sketch entity. So from this midpoint, maybe to this midpoint down here, click and drag. Had we used the click and release method, it would have created a line after the fact. To get rid of this line, when you, act, when you inadvertently attempt to create another line, there's really two options. One is to strike the escape key. When you strike the escape key, notice your cursor is back to the select cursor. You've exited the line tool. Sometimes this is just fine. Other times you want to keep the line tool active. So if I click to create a line and then release and then click to finish the line, when I mouse away, if I double click, it will exit that line, but still keep your cursor in line mode. Cool. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the buttons on our mouse and how they operate with SolidWorks. Generally, left click is always operational. I click a face, select the feature. Select the sketch in our feature tree, see the sketch in our design space. Select the extrude in our feature tree, see the resultant geometry in our design space. Left click is operational click the face. Right click is informational. I want to find more information about this entity, this solid face, plane, etc. Right click and you get information about what you can do with this entity, like draw a line or select other, etc. Cool. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the escape key. Now, if you're in a feature, now, if you're in the fillet tool and you're selecting edges or faces to fill it, maybe I'll go ahead and fill it this guy here, this guy here, change our fillet value to 0.5 millimeters, and you can see the fillet propagates. Now, when you inadvertently select something or reselect something, it's very common that people like to strike the escape key. When you hit the escape key from here, it exits out of your fillet tool. So all that time you spent making your picks and clicks and selections is now lost. What you want to do if you inadvertently select something, and you're like, oh, I didn't want that to be selected, you can click on that entity and unselect it. 
just reselect it to unselect it. So it's filleted, now it's not. Filleted, now it's not. Now let's go ahead and complete this fillet. We'll hit the green check, and we see the geometry populate in our design space. Fantastic. Now maybe you're creating, maybe you're you're thinking, okay, I need to create a sketch on this face. And you're like, whoops, I need, I, you know, I, I need to do it on another face. I thought wrong. Maybe I need to do it on the front plane so that it's right in the middle. So I've seen where you hit the control Z to undo, it undoes a feature. Now just like you can undo, you can redo, but this only applies for some things in SolidWorks. For instance, if I hit control Y to redo, I get nothing. Control Z, roll you back to the previous step, and so on and so forth. So you want to be really careful when using the undo button, because not all things can be redone from an undo. I hope this helps. This is Adam Hughes, Go Engineer. Thanks for watching. Yeah.